Hi guys, so uh, today we're gonna troubleshoot a Lenovo ThinkPad uh, X1 Carbon first uh, generation which uh, came uh, with an issue that uh, it boots to a white screen, a completely white screen that's uh, nothing, uh, nothing else, it's just basically the backlight on the LCD um, an connected to an external display the computer does work so that tells me that the motherboard is pretty much is good uh, so I'm gonna take you through a couple steps uh, of troubleshooting what the issue is uh, typically when you have that kind of issue um, it can be three different causes first of all it might be the LCD itself uh, second of all it might be the actual cable the connecting cable between the LCD and the main board and third and highly improbable uh, might be a problem with the main board itself uh, basically with the connecting cable oh i'm sorry with the connection uh, lvds connection uh, to the lcd uh, that typically happens if uh, the computer had some sort of uh, liquid uh, damage which uh, the customer said he did not spill now i'm not necessarily taking uh, all the customer uh, words uh, for that but sometimes they tend to forget stuff important stuff uh, but uh, let's let's dig in let's see what uh, you can do if you have uh, the same problem and how you could uh, troubleshoot the issue yourself uh, and eventually order an LCD if that's the problem now I'm gonna get to the I'm gonna show you the symptom of the of the computer so basically this is the computer and when turned on as you see it has a white blank screen there's nothing else appearing on the screen just the backlight okay I'm gonna shut it off and turn it on again and you'll see it is the same problem just a blank screen so the backlight does work but that's about it now uh, we're going to first step you have to do before starting to disassemble the actual LCD uh, would be to actually remove the battery and I cannot stress it enough how important that is uh, as especially with the Lenovo if the battery is left connected even though the computer is turned off uh, it might uh, damage the LCD backlight of the LCD so in order to do that I'm gonna disconnect the computer if it's uh, connected to a power source and we are going to open the back of the computer since this one has a non-removable battery means uh, I don't have uh, I, I cannot just simply remove it I will have to actually disassemble the computer in order to get the battery now in order to do that I have one two three four five six seven screws which I have to remove and once that's done I will have access to the battery itself now since I'm going to have access to the main board itself I will also want to check the uh, possibility of the LVDS connector being broken uh, so let's see here I'm going to adjust a little bit of the camera so you get an idea of what I'm doing okay. last screw to remove okay with all the screws removed from the computer uh, you will put a little pry tool right here in between right here okay you slide it in and slowly move along the edges until the back it's almost open like this now we're gonna open the screen up and as you see that was exactly what I was mentioning you have to remove the battery as the computer sometimes it might turn itself off like in this case um, it might have a different issue as well which I'm not aware of yet but definitely remove the battery and the power supply before trying to replace anything inside the computer so in the first generation as you see uh, the top 
case which is basically the keyboard and the trackpad it's attached to the main board through a little ribbon cable okay which I'm gonna show you right now see this this little yellow guy now we're gonna put the keyboard at a 90 degree angle just like this and let me try to arrange this camera so you guys get a better view of what I'm actually trying to do. Okay, so this connecting cable attaches to the main board like so. So all you need to do is just uh, with your nail or with a plastic tool just push it up and then it is out. Okay. Okay, so after uh, I disconnected the keyboard, we can move this on the side. And now we're going to disconnect the battery. It is right here. Now, the way you will do that uh, with a, a little uh, plastic, plastic or metallic tool, I would recommend you plastic, just slightly push right here on the middle. Let's see, I'm just going to zoom, see if I get a better idea what I'm talking about. Right here, you will push the battery out or towards the outside. Just like so. Okay. And now the battery, it is safely disconnected. So that means there's no power running through the board. Now, I was mentioning before that while the computer is open and it's on the table, uh, you could also uh, take a look at um, the LCD connector on the main board and see if you can uh, uh, see any burn mark or any kind of liquid damage. Uh, the LCD connector is right here, it's on the left hand side of the board. It's uh, right on top of the fan and it's right, let's see right here okay I'm gonna zoom out a little bit okay uh, now the way we disconnect this cable you have this little flip you'll put your nail under you gently lift it up like so and with a tweezer you just want to pull this ribbon cable out over here we're gonna look at the pins all of them they look in perfect condition uh, I don't see any kind of oxidation I don't see any kind of burn marks on it so that tells me that on this side uh, the cable is good and as well the connecting the LVDS connector on the board now we're gonna move to the second part of uh, the disassembly and that basically is removing the LCD itself and inspecting the actual cable of the LCD. Okay. Now the way we're gonna do this we will first as you see the screen it has the front bezel which uh, in the first and second generation of the, um, the ThinkPads, they were not glued. Uh, later generations, especially the touchscreen ones, uh, they started to glue uh, the, the front bezel to the actual LCD, making it much harder to remove. So, without further ado, uh, use your pry tool or a guitar pick or uh, any other tool a very thin tool you might have at your disposal and put it right here in between the front bezel and the back of the LCD like this if you can see let's see okay like so and we will work our way down slowly okay because the bezel it's caught up with some plastic clips we don't want to force them as they will very easily break we're gonna do the same thing on the top and continue on the opposite side until the front bezel is completely out
Now, if you remember in a different video I made earlier on, uh, I was mentioning that the actual, the bottom of the bezel, basically this part right here, most of the times it is glued directly on the LCD itself. So, uh, use extreme caution uh, when you're uh, trying to remove the bezel. So, with the same pry tool, you will go, you will work your way slowly and meanwhile removing the glue try not to put any kind of pressure on the LCD itself as you will break it uh, what you might also do uh, to make your uh, job easier uh, you might take a hair dryer and just uh, put it on a low or medium setting and just blow it on the bottom of the of the bezel uh, that will make the glue a little bit more workable and will make your job that much easier the reason I'm uh, mentioning blow dryer and not a uh, hot gun is because not many uh, home users will have a hot gun ready in their household but most of them will have a blow dryer now uh, the bezel the bottom bezel it is unglued and we're gonna put the screen at a 180 degree angle lay it flat and we will remove the bottom bezel You might want to watch the cables as uh, both the LCD cable and the Wi-Fi antennas are going onto the bottom of it. So you don't want to damage it once you remove the bezel. Uh, this one is giving me a little bit of a hard time. Now the front bezel is removed and we have access to the LCD itself. Now the LCD, weird enough, uh, it is not glued, I would expect it to be glued on the back of the, of the, of the uh, assembly, LCD assembly, but I would expect to have uh, some screws on the corners of the LCD. This one does not have so make sure after you receive after you i'm sorry after you remove uh, the front bezel uh, make sure uh, the screen will not just fall uh, and further damaging it now we're going to look at the connection of the screen and what can you see right there i'm not sure if you can actually see now i'm going to zoom it in a little bit try to make it as clear as possible and okay okay that's not clear enough that's it now at the close inspection you see that the LCD cable it's actually not properly inserted into its socket it moved so so uh, after looking at the LCD connection on the on the display on the screen itself we see that it is not perfectly aligned so it means that the cable moved and probably most probably that's the cause of the white screen we were experiencing now what we're gonna do uh, remove uh, I see that this computer was serviced before because uh, this tape which is holding the connection together comes way too easy out we're going to completely remove the connector we make sure that the cable is fine the cable looks absolutely fine and we're gonna reinsert it try to do it 
try not to angle it when you uh, when you put it inside so not something like that because sometimes you will break uh, the connection by the first second pin and in many computers that first pin serves as uh, the LCD uh, fuse basically the LCD backlight fuse so uh, you will lose the the backlight in the LCD if that happens so put it straight in we're gonna reapply the, the tape and we're going to start the computer up just to make sure that everything is working before reassembling it now let's see we'll have to plug in the battery but before that You'll have to reattach the keyboard as the power button right here is part of the keyboard itself. So, I'm gonna put the keyboard back in. You'll have to make sure it's properly aligned, the connections are properly aligned, and just press it down. And it's in. We're gonna put the battery connector in. And we're going to turn on the computer and see what happens. Let's plug it in because I'm not sure how the battery holds the charge. So let's see. Okay, figures. The keyboard was not properly inserted. Okay. And let's see. Now we have the Lenovo sign and the computer does start up as intended. So this was a very easy solution to something which you might have gotten quoted uh, maybe, maybe a couple hundred dollars to fix the LCD. Uh, somebody might have told you oh, the LCD is bad and it needs to be replaced. No, many times it's just a loose cable. So with that said, I'm going to reassemble uh, the computer. Just follow the disassembly steps uh, and uh, have patience. Make sure you put all the screws back. Uh, you properly put the, uh, the front bezel on and uh, you're good to go. So thank you for watching, if this video helped you in any way, uh, please like or subscribe to my channel. Thank you.